Hi, this is Dr. Michael Persky. I'm a facial plastic surgeon here in Encino, California. For those of you who don't know where Encino is, it's a small suburb of Los Angeles, approximately 20 to 25 minutes northwest of Beverly Hills, California, depending on the traffic. Today I'd like to talk to you about earlobe repair as well as rejuvenation of the aging earlobe. Earlobes are an often overlooked aspect of facial rejuvenation, and as a facial plastic surgeon, we try to not get caught up just with one aspect, but the entire face in, a, in harmony and keeping it in harmony. Uh, the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is when ear piercings go bad. Uh, ear, ear piercings can stretch out, making it difficult to wear your beautiful earrings the way you would like to. They become totic or hang down and um, can even fall out when the earlobe becomes too large. When patients present with that problem, it's relatively simple to repair, although it needs to be done properly so that the earlobe looks normal once it's repaired. What we do is uh, do this procedure under local anesthetic, and it's quite almost nearly painless. We, if, you, if you pinch your earlobe, you'll find as, as hard as you pinch it, there's very f few nerve endings in that area, so even the local anesthetic injection is relatively painless. Once it's anesthetized, the hole around the opening has to be excised to freshen up the skin so that we're able to sew the hole back together. Um, if you were to sew skin to skin, uh, it wouldn't stick when the, when the stitches came out. So by freshening up the inner part of the opening, we're able to sew both the front and the back back together. The stitches remain in place anywhere from five to seven days and then are removed. Uh, after about six weeks of healing, the patient uh, returns to our office for re-piercing of the ear, usually with a gold or stainless steel stud that stays in place for approximately six weeks. And during that time, once a day, the patient twists the ear and cleans it with alcohol. And then after the six-week period, the uh, re-pierced ear is ready for any any beautiful earrings. Uh, usually a spouse, boyfriend, or significant other will uh, purchase a, a new present if, uh, if, if they're informed of why the ears have been repaired. Secondly, th the second thing I'd like to talk about is um, repair of an ear that's been uh, purposely, or an ear, an ear lobe that's been purposely made larger uh, if, if you think of the African tribes with their large ears or large uh, lips. Uh, there's many patients who are finding the uh, process of gauging an ear where it's pierced and then uh, gauges are actually put in there, kind of like buttons, uh, that increase the size of the ear hole over time. Many patients, after a few years of having that, uh, when they're looking for a new job or they just want to uh, have their old ear back uh, present to our office for that repair. And, and that involves a little bit more artistic vision and planning to get the ear to uh, close properly. Uh, it sometimes involves a little flap. Usually it takes us about 15 minutes longer than the usual 15 minute earlobe repair. Uh, the third thing I'll talk to you about is uh, rejuvenation of the large ear, we have patients, or large earlobe, we have patients who show up and just say, you know, a woman will show up with a large ear saying, this is my dad's earlobe, and it, I love the way the rest of my face looks, but make this smaller. And that can be done, again, under local anesthetic here in the office. Again, it takes a little bit more artistic vision and planning. Usually a pie-shaped wedge of that earlobe is excised and then meticulously closed. And, and again, the same process for repair of the stretched earlobe uh, is undergone in terms of letting it stay closed for approximately six weeks, repiercing uh, after six weeks, and then the stud stays in place for another six weeks. Lastly, I'd like to talk to you about rejuvenation of the aging ear. And uh, two things happen to the aging ear. One, it loses volume. Some of the fat in the ear goes away like the rest of our face and again similar to the rest of our face the ear can um, 
look wrinkled. So for those uh, two things, uh, for the volume loss, we can add fillers such as Sculptra, uh, Restylane, Radius, well, actually not Radius in here, but Restylane, Juvederm, and uh, Sculptra work particularly well. And then for the wrinkles on the ear, uh, some of the ablative or non-ablative lasers work very well at rejuvenating the aging ear. So uh, that covers uh, earlobe repair and uh, treatment of the aging ear. Uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to contact me at drpersky at drpersky.com. And uh, have a great evening. Bye-bye. Well, that sure was an earful. Again, feel free to contact us if you have any questions about your earlobes or anything having to do with facial plastic and reconstructive surgery. Be well.